Hey guys. Okay. So I look a hot mess today. Don't mind that. I didn't do my face. We got a tarantula cribs unboxing to do today. Um, so as you guys know, if you're familiar, um, I collect uh, jumping spiders and I have a few tarantulas and I swear by and love the tarantula cribs enclosures they were kind enough to send me these enclosures but i have purchased several of them um as you can see back here i have quite a few of the arboreal little tree houses i have one of my tarantulas in the large terrestrial i even have my crickets my feeder crickets in a medium terrestrial tarantula cribs um these little treehouse canopies are so freaking cute so if you're interested in tarantula cribs these are super cool for like all invertebrates <laughs> um not just spiders i actually you can actually like make shift them and like diy them to like house mantises and like i said i currently am housing my feeder crickets in one and i want to house my dubia roaches in one soon so yeah just you can do whatever the heck you want with these things if you want to get your hands on some tarantula cribs you can use my coupon code manda10 uh, and that'll save you 10 percent on their website so whether you have jumping spiders um their medium sized treehouse is the absolute perfect size for an adult bold jumping spider <clears throat> an audax or a Phytopus regius uh, or a regal jumping spider. So bolds and regals, adult size are perfect for the medium enclosures. So we got lots of goodies in here. I see plenty of smaller ones. We got some big boys right here. Oh, I see a terrestrial. Yay! That's gonna be for my dubios. All right, and then we have this one here. So let's just open up the smallest to biggest. Yay! All right, these appear to be more of the small um, canopies. Yes, the mini canopies. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. And I love, can I just say, I love their packaging. Their boxes that they use are like super hardcore. So when you're not using the enclosures, you can tuck them away and store them in the boxes that they came in. And they're they're great. Oh my gosh, I love them. So there should be, there are two of these little guys in here. Look how crystal clear this freaking acrylic is. These are great for jumping spider slings. Um, I do also have my velvet spider housed in one of these right now. So it's perfect for the smaller species, um, arboreal specifically. Um, they do have a little lip right here. So if you did want to add some substrate, you can, but these are great for arboreal species. I'm going to go ahead and open the other one just to make sure. But yes, woo! I love these so much. So just to give you guys an idea of how I would set one of these guys up, I have this one set up for my uh, Odiosis. So I have a little Phytopus Odiosis jumper right here. And he loves to make his webs towards the top of the canopy. Um, and then the door again just pops off like this with magnets. Gorgeous. And then this is my example of my, uh, my velvet spider. My velvet spider is in here, has tucked away under this little piece of cork bark, but I added some cute little mushrooms in here, some sphagnum, um, some fake greens, and then some cork bark just to make it a little bit more natural. But that's an example of like what you can do with the little tree houses. This one has substrate in it, the other one does not. So you can kind of see the difference. They're so beautiful when you first get them. They're so crystal clear. And then after you've had something housed in them for a while and all the webs are all over the place, they're still a lot clearer than other enclosures that I've seen, especially if you're like keeping your spiders in like deli cups and stuff. Like this is such an upgrade, like this, Especially if you only have a couple spiders and you, you want to like upgrade them and give them the best. Tarantula Cribs is freaking amazing. Oh my gosh. 
Okay, now these I'm really excited to try out. I have not gotten these before, but when the whole Canopy series came out, I kind of regretted not getting these. And so I'm super excited to test these out. If you are new to jumpers or arboreal tarantulas, <clears throat> these are awesome. But look at this. So it looks like this top part here but it's actually taller. So once your little baby gets a little bit bigger, you can put them in here and it opens in the middle. Um, one thing I will mention with jumping spiders and some, some arboreals, they like to make their nests or webs on the top of the enclosure. So you wanna try to avoid a top opening enclosure if you can. That's why I really appreciate tarantula cribs for taking that into account. Um, they're really listening to the jumping spider community. These are not just for tarantulas, these are for jumpers as well. So if you are new into jumping spiders or if you've had them for a while, these are awesome. Um, oh my gosh, the, the clarity of it all. It's so stunning. There are two of those canopy understories. They also have one that is this style, but it has a flat top. So I think you could probably stack like one of these on top of that if you so wanted to do that. Um, but I just love the little look of the canopies. They just look like little houses and they're so cute. All right, next let's go ahead and just open up one of these guys. We have two of these here. I see a terrestrial, a medium terrestrial. And I believe this one, I'm not sure if this one is the white bottom or not, but look at this. Look at this box. Oh, it's so beautiful. And then it comes packed very nicely with some styrofoam to protect it. Oh my gosh, these are so gorgeous when they're brand new. Oh, who would have thought that I would become this person that got so excited opening up spider cages. It's so glorious. Look at that pristine clarity. Oh my gosh. And this one is the slider top. So it just slides off. And the cool thing about these is they are magnetized just like the other ones. So you're not gonna have any escapees. So let me grab my crickets and kind of show you guys what I'm talking about with these. So I just misted them a little bit because I do have springtails in here as well and springtails like the moisture. So I have some egg crate here because they like to hide under that obviously. Um, I have some creature soil in here and I have springtails in here. I do keep it kind of humid. And then I have their little tray of their gel capsules. Um, and then I do have some leaf litter in there that can break down and the springtails can eat off of that as well. Um, but yeah, here you can kind of see one that's decorated. I did put a couple little flowers in there just like for fun. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna house my dubia roaches in here. And hopefully I can get that a little, a little colony going of those. And then I think we have two medium tree houses uh, with white backs. I'll show you guys more close up in just a second. Um, so you guys can kind of see like what I do for the, the designs of the enclosures and stuff. I still need to make like a full video on doing the enclosures and everything. But oh my gosh, look how, look how beautiful it is. And it has the sliding door. There's one of them and let's open the other one really quick just to make sure everything came perfectly intact. I have never gotten, and I will tell you guys this, I have ordered from Tarantula Cribs 10 plus times. I have never gotten a broken enclosure. I, I never, they usually ship UPS um, and they're packaged very beautifully and I've never had one arrive cracked or broken or anything like that. So they really do take care packing their enclosures as well. But I have no doubts that if one did come broken and you reached out to them, they would make it right. All right, there we are. There's another one. Oh, they're so pretty. And they have the little magnetized edges as well. So again, these are the perfect size for adult jumpers that are either regals or bolds or around that same size. So let me pick you guys up and show you a couple of examples of how I've decorated my tarantula cribs enclosures. So as you can see right here, this is the large terrestrial. Um, I have my curly hair in here getting ready to molt. So they're very burrowed down very far right now and they've been kind of 
MIA lately, um, but this is pretty much how I have that one decked out so far. Here are some of the medium tree houses that I've done. So this one here, I just do like a creature soil or reptosoil substrate. I add some mosses and cork bark that I've gotten from uh, pet stores. Uh, I only use mosses that I get at pet stores because then I know it's safe to use in the enclosures. Um, and then I'll just get like these little figurines. I'll make sure they're washed really, really well. Um, and then any wood that you do use besides like cork bark, uh, you're going to want to seal it uh, because it could mold easily with all of the missing. So I have one of my little bold jumpers right in here. She is loving that. And then I do make them little name tags to go on the bottom corner as well. Here is another one. This one says squish free home and it is kind of like a zen garden theme. With the little figurines and stuff, I usually tend to get my pieces off of Amazon. Fake flowers I get from various different craft stores and even Dollar Tree. And then this one over here is similar to the wolf one, but it is deer. It's a little deer family. Here's another medium tree house that I've done. One of my bolt jumpers is chilling right there. Um, this is one of the Halloween themed enclosures for my little baby Poe. And there's all kinds of cool things back here. Uh, you can also look for various different hides and 3D printed objects on Etsy. That's where I found quite a few of the little hides and things. And then we have this one here. This is arguably like my favorite enclosure. This is my Lion King enclosure and it so appropriately is housing my Audax baby Simba. Oh, he's creeping back there. He's actually an adult male. Oh, he's gonna come out and say hi. Hi Simba. He's thinking about it. He's like, mm, I don't know, maybe. He's creeping back there. Um, but yeah, this houses my little baby Simba. And so this is one of my, my favorite enclosures. I mounted Rafiki holding Simba up there on like the little piece of cork bark. And then I, of course I have Timon, Pumbaa, Zazu, and Mufasa right there up front. Oh, I love them. And then right here, this is the small version of the tree houses. So these were the medium sizes. These are the smalls with the white backs. You can kind of see how I've decorated these. My friend actually made me these cute little 3D printed hides. This one has like mushrooms. I made this one kind of dog themed and I named my little regal boy in there, Rufus. Over here we have Clementines. She just has some little mushrooms in there. Down here we have my Odiosis Biscuit who is super hiding up in there in the corner. You can see her. Um, but there is biscuits. And then over here, I have Binks. Binks is my other Odiosis, and they are going to move into this one once they get just a little bit bigger. So this is Binks' little Halloween-themed enclosure. So yeah, that kind of gives you an idea of how you can decorate your tarantula cribs. All right, and with that, I'm gonna go ahead and go. I hope you guys enjoyed this little unboxing and it kind of gave you guys an idea on how you can decorate your enclosures. If you have tarantula cribs, like send me photos of them on my social medias because I would absolutely love to see how you guys decorate yours. Also, don't forget, if you want to get your hands on some for yourself, you can use the code MANDA10 during checkout on tarantulacribs.com and it can save you some moolah which is great because these things add up. They get kind of expensive in the long run. So if you can, if you can save some cash uh, along the way while giving your babies nothing but the best, um, check out Tarantula Cribs. They have a ton of other enclosures as well, like a big cube tarantula enclosures. Um, those are great um, for like the larger uh, terrestrial species. They also have little cylindrical style sling enclosures and ones like that. Give them a check out. Give them a check out. Sure. <laughs> Whatever those words meant. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. I hope you all enjoyed and I will talk to you soon. So until next time, so long, stay strong, stay true and be you. All right. Bye. -bye.